Okay, so two things I want to preface with. First of all, this is AntonAlex.com. That's all I'm selling you on is check out AntonAlex.com. I have a lot of tutorials and cool stuff like that. No, but really. Okay, so to receive faxes with Gmail, you can do so completely for free. I use eFax.com. Okay, you can sign up and you get a fax number. I've had it for years. If somebody needs to send me a fax, I just give them my fax number and they send it to me and it comes to my Gmail account. So that works great. Now, unfortunately, sending fax is a, is a little bit more difficult. And if you've seen some other tutorials where they say you have to sign up for a fax service, it's true, you do. Okay, there's no way around that. I wish I could just magically wave my wand and all of a sudden you could send faxes out of Gmail. No problem, it'd be free, but you can't do that. So the one thing I do wanna clear up is once you do sign up for a service, it doesn't matter what service, I don't really send faxes out of my Gmail, so I don't even use it. I just signed up and did it so I could figure out how to do it for this tutorial. Um, so I don't care which one you use. I use eFax for free to receive faxes. Sending them, that's up to you. However, in the tutorials we've seen, people say, okay, so you go to Compose Mail, and then you enter the fax number, followed by the domain. And you're like, well, what the heck? Fax numbers don't come with domains. So I'm just going to make up a number. Let's say the fax number is 1-800-967-4135. Please don't call that number. I have no idea where that number goes. I don't want to get in trouble here, okay? And then they say, okay, well, then you just enter the domain. But you don't get a domain when you get a fax number. So where is the domain come from? from that's what I was wondering and I figured it out it's pretty easy this domain comes from whatever service you sign up for it's not the domain of the person you're sending the fax to so all you're gonna do is you're gonna enter the fax number of the person you're sending the fax to and then whichever service you sign up for is gonna tell you a domain to enter in there and so it's gonna send it to say efax.com efax.com is gonna convert that into a normal fax and it's gonna send it to this number so you can still send a fax to any normal fax number that you have using Gmail because when I watched these tutorials I was like well I, fax numbers don't come with a domain where is the domain coming from that's where it's coming from unfortunately I don't have a free solution to send faxes for you I wish I did like I said um, but when you do see that in the other tutorials or wherever you're looking that's what it is once you, once you sign up for one of these services like I said it could be e-fax that was kind of expensive I would maybe even try a different one I, I don't know 